Kate, the Princess of Wales announced today that she was diagnosed with cancer and is undergoing chemotherapy, breaking her silence in a rare video message after weeks of widespread speculation over her health as people in the UK rally around her. Told news journalist Mark Curtis is live in the newsroom for us with what's next for the royal family. Mark? Rachel, it's been a rough couple of years for the royal family. Princess Kate said today that she's in the early stages of preventative, ke preventative chemotherapy. Now this comes after the princess underwent surgery in January for what doctors believed was a non-malignant abdominal condition. Further testing after the operation revealed the presence of an unspecified form of cancer. She said the news came as a complete shock and that she and Prince William needed time to process it for the sake of their young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal. The princess praised Prince William for being by her side as a great source of comfort and reassurance and thanked the public for their support. The news, obviously, just devastating for the British monarchy. Back in February, Buckingham Palace announced that King Charles is also undergoing cancer treatment. Rachel? Yeah, tough news for the royal family. Mark, thank you for those details. And joining us now live in studio to talk about this is Dr. Natasha Bouillon with One Medical Group. So obviously, Kate Middleton did not reveal the type of cancer that she had and that she's diagnosed with, but this is a scary reality because projections show she's not going to be alone in 2020. Yeah, you know, this is really unfortunate, but the American Cancer Society said that we are going to see a record number of cancer diagnoses in 2024. And I think what's even more alarming is we are seeing more and more cancer in young people under the age of 50, just like Kate, who's only 42. Certainly. And we don't know what she has. We know it might be an abdominal or a pelvic cancer, and we're seeing more colon cancer, cervical cancers. And so what I encourage my patients is don't ignore any signs if you have any new symptoms. So, yeah. Right, because we say early detection is so important. So what are the signs and symptoms people can be looking for? Yeah, they can often be vague. So it might be that people are feeling full early. They might have changes in bowel movements. They might have some gas or bloating, even minor weight loss. And all of these signs, they're easy to just write off and they're easy to say nothing's going on. But I tell people, even if you have something minor, like nausea, something new for you, check in with your doctor because it might be nothing, but it could be something more serious like cancer. Certainly, and no one knows your body and the way you operate more than you do. So, you know, take that jump if you do see something different. Um, we know it's Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month as well. So um, you had mentioned that beauty influencer Jessica Petaway died this week age 36 and it was from cervical cancer. So again, what can women especially be doing and asking their gynecologist when they're going in for those annual exams? And, and that was just so devastating because nobody in this country should die of cervical cancer. There are ways to prevent it. There are ways to treat it. I tell everyone, make sure you are going in for your annual exam. Make sure for women, you are getting your pap smear, uh, making sure we're th doing things like getting our breast cancer screenings as well. And then the HPV vaccine. This is so key. It could actually help prevent cancers. And there's studies that show people People who've gotten the HPV vaccine, there are rates of no cancers in them. So I think the number one thing is go in, see your doctor, make sure you stay on top of your screening. And the colon cancer age for screening is now age 45 used to be age 50, but we are telling people if you're age 45, check in with your doctor. Okay.